take one. Hello, I am Justin Spicer, and I'm here today um, reviewing a guitar. This instrument is not mine. This belongs to Eddie Dyer of the Walking Shoe Revival, and this is an Epiphone SG. Uh, it's uh, I'll have the model of the guitar in the title of the video, but right now I'm just going to tell you that it's an Epiph Epiphone SG special. Um, it's got master volume and master tone, three-way selector switch for rhythm, both, and treble. Output jack's there. It's got a screw-on neck and um, 22 frets. I don't know what the fuck wood it's made out of. It can be made out of oatmeal for all I care. Um, it's got 22 frets, rosewood fingerboard, um, tuners that look like this. There is the Epiphone logo for your viewing and dining pleasure. Um, two domatic bridge, stop tailpiece, the typical stuff. Um, this guitar was a gift to Eddie Dyer. I don't know who gave it to him, but must have been a good person for giving the gift of music to somebody. You know, I think a musical instrument is probably the cool, just the coolest thing that anybody can receive, just ever, just because you know I love music and it's awesome. So today, um, I set this guitar up for Eddie a bit, and he's going to repay me in one way or another, and I look forward to that. But he, um, yeah, he got this guitar for free. He's like, oh, Spice, can you trick it out of him? He's like, yeah, sure. So I adjusted the truss rod, lowered the action, and I set the height of the pickups accordingly. Um, I sprayed some Deoxit. Um, Deoxid D5, the D series, into the pots and the switch. And, you know, like I said, I lowered the action and everything. And this thing, once the strings are actually broken in, this thing is not a bad guitar for whatever price these are going for. I actually used to have one of these. Um, in fact, if you look, I have a video called Slideshow of My Old Guitars, something along the lines of that title. But if you look, if you watch that video, you can see a young me holding this guitar, this exact model and everything. I had it for a while, a few months back in, oh fuck, I forget the year, but I was in sixth grade. I had this guitar for a while until, the model anyway, I had this model guitar until around Christmas time when I traded it for a, uh, what did I trade it for? I think I, I traded it for something. I think it was a, I think it was a Squire 51. Um, yeah, that was it. That was it. That was for sure. I traded this for a Squire 51. Back when the 51 was made by Squire and not by Fender. So anyway, this guitar. I'm going to play be playing it through my rig. It's um, an acoustic B100 bass amp. Um, I'll show you this guitar through the neutral amp sound first, and then I'll take you down through my pedal board down here, which is a Boss DS3 compressor, a Digitech Synthwah, and a Digitech RP300. But this is the straight sound of the amp. Um, all of my knobs are um, set as follows. The gain and the volume are at 9 o'clock, and every other knob afterwards is at noon. And this is the neck pickup. I don't know what strings are on it. They're, these might be stock strings. <laughs> So you can actually hear it. I can tell these pickups are not microphonic. So this is not both pickups, which is probably my favorite sound out of the guitar. Just because I do that sort of thing sometimes a lot, whereas the, you know the neck pickups good for. Uh, um, Not the 
right chord at all. Something like that. I fucked up like the last three notes, but yeah, that's the neck pickup. I mean, this is not a bad sounding guitar by any means. It might not be set up accordingly yet, you know, what, what makes people fall in love or hate guitars if they're trying them out in stores is probably 90% the setup and maybe the fact that, you know, maybe the guitar player isn't getting the sound that they want out of their hands. They might not know it's their hands, but, um, I mean, 90% of a guitarist's or in any instrumentalist's sound is them. And if they're just having a shitty day, then they're going to sound shitty on, on their instrument and just be like, oh, well, this thing sucks because it just sucks. But it could very well be their overall mood. But I'm, you know, being unbiased towards this thing. I'm throwing all the same stuff that I throw at that I throw on my other guitars. And it, I mean, I, I had an SG phase in my guitar playing before um, all these strats that you see over here. I mean, I still, I still. Um, there was never a point in my life that I didn't own a Strat, but um, I, had, I went through like a lot of SGs. I think the nicest one I had was the white custom shop one by Epiphone. But like I said, this is this model was my first one, and offended by the sound of this at all. This is the bridge pickup, so neck pickup again, both bridge pickup. Which isn't really ballsy, but um, not to say that you could replace that with a Seymour Duncan and have more balls. I've actually heard, um, I've actually played, played guitars that had just like the stock neck pickup and then some sort of Seymour Duncan in there and the Seymour Duncan had way less output than the um, stock pickup. So, makes me wonder. Um, First time I played that in a review, so I'm now gonna turn on the compressor. Drop the level a bit, so this is normal. If I can get my foot to do it right. And it's staying in tune despite what these tuners look like. Maybe I'm a god. No. So this is the neck pickup. Um. Let me see if I can actually do this. Fuck it. So that's the compressor. I'm now gonna take you through the Digitech. So, um, let's give you a clean sound. Actually, no, I have the perfect patch. So, the compressor is off. I mean, any guitar with the compressor on at this volume, and with that amount of gain, and this distance away from the amp is going to feed back. 
but the compressor is off and this is a clean patch on the Digitech. Actually, the, uh, the pickup simulator is on. I have it set up to be a single coil, but it's the pickup simulator is now off. And there's, you know, just listen. Just listen for a minute. This is dying. Listen to it. the best I play that on a cleat setting. Turn on some more. This is the neck pickup. I'll go to both pickups now and play do some uh I'll turn on that pickup simulator and I'll put it on single kill. for a guy who tore up tiles for eight hours today. Synth wah. So I'm going to show you a distorted patch now. Turn off the compressor. Um, I think. I mean, it might just be the noise gate I have built into this patch, but... Testing, test... It might very well be the noise gate I have built into this patch, but... Testing... I think it fell to my brother's guitar. What do I care? <laughs> nah, it's fine. So that's without a compressor. That is without a compressor. Kick it in though. And this is called playing your rig, turning down the volume when things get too fucking loud. Pickup simulator is now off, so you're getting humbucking. I'm trying to play a. Uh the ending guitar solo cool thing in uh, That Smell by Leonard Skinner. said because it's a master volume and a master tone you don't get the kill switch thing I'll take you through some different sounding distortions and some di I'll take you through a different clean thing first this is a thing I call a uh, jangle and the pickup simulator in this thing is off so you're getting humbucker and if I were to plug in a strat you get a strat
things I don't like about the guitar. I fucking hate Rosewood Fingerboards with a passion. They get dirty as fuck. That's why, you know, most of the instruments I have around here, um, I've got two basses that have Rosewood Fingerboards. I think, um, although this, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that case there, but in it is an Ibanez musician bass, and that might have an Ebony Fingerboard. Um, Squire P bass with a Rosewood. But I try to keep all my fretboards maple, or something better than rosewood, because it gets dirty as fuck, and I hate that. And I and I hate cleaning it all the time. So that's jangle. This is a thing I call a morning wood, based off a third stone Odyssey tune called Early Mornings and uh, speak at Third Stone Odyssey. I'm in that band, so you should check us out. You don't need a jazz box to play jazz. Take you through another thing called boats and arrows. All right, then uh, the let's do. Uh, Something I've only done on one other video, or two, but uh, this is. Uh... pickup simulator is on, so it's trying to turn these humbuggers into singing coils, and I think it's doing a pretty fucking good job at it. View up there. I played a lot and uh, I spoke a lot, and I um, told you about the instrument. So these guitars are still available. I think they're around, um, definitely under two hundred dollars. But for what I can remember, they were one hundred fifty. Um, let me put it this way: buy a PVT sixty, <laughs> okay? Because um, they're great guitars, but. If this were a gift to me, I would just gladly accept it because this thing, the neck is kind of big on this thing, but um, yeah, you heard me. I played pretty well on this review. It sounds decent. Um, this would be a good contender 
um, or a good contestant or a good, yeah, just a good contender for a backup guitar. Like if you were me, for instance, and your main guitar was this custom Fender Splattercaster, um, would that be the guitar you'd want to take to like a smoky bar and have like people like throw balls at you and shit? No, it would not. <laughs> because, I mean, I could think of all sorts of things that, oh, say, drunk Texans would say about this guitar strap alone, let alone my playing and my personality. You would not want to take a guitar like that. You'd want to take something like this. Something that could, you know, that, that plays decent, sounds decent, and can take a beating and still hold up for the next show. So, um... But like I said, there are better instruments out there. I won't... I won't avoid saying that. So, I'm Justin Spicer. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, check out Third Stone Odyssey. Check out Eddie Dyer and the Walking Shoe Revival. Or just check out Eddie Dyer and Third Stone Odyssey. Because we... The four of us are doing a few shows this summer. One being next week, next Friday, at um, the Lowell Folk Fest. Um... Crap if I... I'll probably put up um, some sort of... An annotation saying where we're playing but just shut you know so I'm Justin Spicer if you like this please subscribe to my channel and if you don't like this go away